Located in a small boxing gym on an island located in the northeastern Caribbean lies a young man and his father. The two have made the commitment years ago to something that's considered much more than a sport on this island, but a lifestyle. With a six foot one, 154 pound frame, five time Puerto Rican national champion Pritchard Colon looks to take on the challenge to not only capture success in professional boxing, but to capture the hearts of every proud Puerto Rican, young fighter, and boxing fan in the world. This is The Pursuit. Someto a cualquier arepa, me voy con tu hija queca pa que lo sepa. Yo sé que tú quieres chuparme las quenepa, aunque no sean de ponce, no importa que no sean ni de oro ni de plata ni de bronce. Lo que sé es que te gusta el rosé, también sé que te gusta mi elefante como tose. Esto va suave, sabe bien suave, 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 sabe bien suave. Esto va suave, sabe bien suave, suave, suave. Sabe... My name is Pritchard Colon, I'm 20 years old. I'm a pro boxer out of Orocovis, Puerto Rico. My pro record is 2-0. In less than 30 days, Pritchard will take part in his third professional fight that will take place in Rochester, New York. I have a fight coming up in a couple weeks that I have to win. At this point in my career, I can't afford a loss. Unlike most professional sports, a father is not limited to only being a supporter, but can also be a teammate. My name is Richard Colón, and I'm the entrenador of my son, Richard Colón. Trato de que él no tenga preocupación alguna eh, de cómo hacer o lograr cosas fuera del boxeo. O sea, que se pueda concentrar única y específicamente en el boxeo. En 2012, Pritchard competed for a chance to represent his island on the biggest stage. My last uh, international tournament was the 2012 Olympic qualifiers in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, where I lost in the third round, which was a qualifying round. If I would have won that fight, I would have been in the London 2000 Games. After falling a little short to make the Olympic team, it was time for Pritchard to come home and officially start his professional career. It was a quick first round knockout, which started things off on the right foot. In the second pro fight, Pritchard traveled to Orlando, Florida. Pritchard continued to set up blistering right hands to the body that eventually wore his opponent out and resulted in a second round knockout. A family situation arises in Orlando, Florida which leaves Pritchard having to make a quick trip. But with the fight approaching, there's no time for layoffs. After a short stay in Orlando, it's back to Puerto Rico just in time for an interview at a local radio station. 
fue mi primera pelea, eh, la última fue los 19, pues sería un total de como 11 años peleando el boxeo aficionado. El aficionado hizo un total de 185 peleas, 170 ganadas y 15 derrotas. Este, al momento no, no, tuve varias, tuve varias este, opciones, ¿verdad? En boxeo profesional tenía varios contratos sobre la mesa de promotores en especial de allá afuera que, pero no, 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 no quise firmar con ninguno ya que no llegamos a un acuerdo eh, económico At this point of the interview, the interviewer, who's in a different room, becomes fixed on Pritchard's promotional situation Estoy ahora mismo trabajando con mi hermano, que es mi manejador, Ricardo, y One Way Boxing pues no, no quiero entrar la, en detalle exactamente económico. Sí, sí, pero eso se encarga mi hermano, yo me encargo si al entrar. No sé, mi hermano, mi hermano es que sabe bien. Days after the interview, Pritchard receives news that his anticipated fight in Rochester, New York will not happen due to complications with finding an opponent. Finding fights can sometimes be a big obstacle for independent fighters that have no backing from an established management or promotional company. At this point, there's only a few things left to do. Go back to work with the belief that your time is approaching. Stay prepared for the challenges that this business presents to you inside and outside the ring. I've dedicated my life to this. I sacrificed everything I've had. Boxing means everything to me. This is what I was born to do. And know that you will not allow yourself to be another special talent that quietly fades into the darkness. Since the taping of this documentary, Pritchard was invited to Miami to train with high-profile boxing trainer Pedro Diaz and looks to return to the ring in October in Florida.